All right, what is up guys? Um, today is an exciting day, all right? I think this is probably gonna go out at like 11.59 tonight, but I wanna get this video out today, so I'm gonna try. It is July 8th, and the reason that July 8th is an important day is because one year ago today, I posted my first ever video and started my channel. So it's exciting, woohoo, channel! And on top of that, I looked recently at uh, my videos, and I already knew that my first video, 50 Facts About Me, was by far my best. I mean, I knew that it had passed a thousand in April, uh, views that is. It already was by far my best, and then I checked again today, and I like just now checked, and it was at 1700 on the dot. I don't understand why more than like four people wanted to see those 50 facts about me, but uh, maybe those four people watched it like a few hundred times each, I don't know. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching it so much and all the support. I thought today, as a callback to the, my first video, I thought I would do revised 50 facts about me because a lot of the ones from the first one are wrong. So we're gonna go through, correct those, add some new ones, have a good time. Oh, in the last video I, put it, I said something. Um, let's get to it. Let's get to it. My name is still Harrison Davis. I am now 20 years old, and I'm still in the family of six that I was before. One of my two dogs, Pippin, passed away, so rest in peace, Pippin. But I still have my other dog, Lulu, who I guess doesn't like the camera. I am now in a different relationship than the one I was in the last time I posted the video, and I really hope that you guys will get to meet her in an upcoming video. I'm really glad that my channel is still a really large part of my life, and that I've been able to capture so many memories over the last year of all the amazing things I got to do. I'm still studying the same subjects at college, which is, you know, whatever. I no longer live in Waterbury, Vermont. In fact, my whole family recently moved, and in less than a month, I'm gonna move into my first apartment. So, that's exciting. I still think it would be awesome to have, like, a following, kind of. And I have to say that some of my favorite moments from this year came from when those of you who I didn't know previously or sometimes still don't know reached out to me and sent me messages and I really like that. So thank you. I still have never broken a bone. I, sorry, I tried to say that weird because my brother liked how I said it last time. Hopefully that works strong. I still have an Uno wild card in my wallet. Actually, I have my wallet on me. Hold on. Boom. In case you're wondering, wallet. Wild card. I still haven't ever done drugs or alcohol, and some people think that's lame, but I honestly couldn't care less. I have now upped my tally of naps to two, and I guess I did the second one poorly too, so I am 0 for 2 on proper naps. My favorite movie by far is The Princess Bride. I play a fair number of video games, and I actually considered making a video game, or like a gaming channel, but I was worried that I wouldn't be able to keep up with it, especially where I sometimes struggle keeping up with one, if even both of my, I have two channels, I sometimes forget that. I have trouble keeping up with both of those, so I figured maybe I'll add that when I get time to actually focus on at least one. I didn't learn to read until the fourth grade, so I've always been pretty behind on reading. Now I can read, kind of, but I just, because I was so far behind, I've never been a really big reader. Pretty much any time I'm in the car or walking home from class or just doing anything that is mindless, I call my best friend because I get lonely and bored. Okay, this sounds weird, I know, but sometimes I'll make like weird noises to convey feelings and I don't know why. I just, for whatever reason, that's how I do it. If I get excited, I have to make an excited noise. That's what I do. I recently got my first sponsorship deal with a company called California and I actually posted earlier today a post about it on my Instagram, so you guys should check it out. Here's my Instagram name, it's the Harrison Davis. Uh, you should go check it out, check out the post, check out California, check out me. Not in like a looks way, like check out my Instagram, all right, let's keep it PG. And yeah, that's exciting. I am really bad at winking unless I use my entire face. Like I just, I can't like, you know, like I can do the joking like, ah, but I can't do like the, it, I, I use my, it's very unattractive, I'm sorry for that. I am like the least smooth person you'll ever meet. Like, on a, <laughs> on a peanut butter scale, all right? I am like triple chunky. I am a terrible singer, like the worst. I always 
wear these two bands on my arm and they are to remember people who I was close to who passed away and yeah, I haven't taken them off since I first put them on and even though I do hope to sometime soon get uh, nicer, longer lasting versions of them, they are very important to me and so they are always on my body. Sometimes, for whatever reason, I try to be as cringy as possible so that I can mess with future Harrison and make him look back and be like, ah ha ha, that guy sucked. I don't know why. The main thing I look for in someone, both as a friend and as a significant other, is that they are genuine around me, or feel like they can be, and that they appreciate me as my genuine self. And that they are funny and can take banter and are perfect. That's those four things. All you need. My favorite YouTuber is Thatcher Joe, and I still watch every one of his videos because he's my main inspiration. I don't really care about how many people follow my channel, but I have really appreciated getting more followers and subscribers as the year has gone on. It's kind of it's kind of like if you were in an audience, you know, doing theater. It, you know, you could love theater as much as you want, but if there's no one in the audience, it uh, I don't know. It's harder to keep motivated than if there is a full audience. So thank you guys for that. Currently the show I'm watching most is Adventure Time, but I did watch all of Stranger Things season three yesterday, and Psych will forever be my favorite show. My favorite and lucky number is number 11. This is kind of basic, but I really like amusement parks. I've always been into comics and superheroes, and I even said in my last video that I kind of hope to one day be one, even though that's a little bit silly, but I don't care. And I'm super excited because this summer I'm going to Comic-Con. My favorite superhero is obviously the best one of all time, Spider-Man. For some reason I feel a lot more comfortable if I'm walking with the people I'm walking with to my right than to my left. I have no idea why, but like will not, well might, but probably won't hold someone's hand or like walk with them if they want to be on the left side. Like I'll hold back and walk behind them instead because I, I don't know why. If you look hard enough on the internet, which I don't recommend, but if you do, you can find a video of me playing Serena Vanderwoodson in an interesting remake of Gossip Girl. XOXO. I don't like that I did that. Out of my siblings, I'm the only one that does not have at least one tattoo, but that said, I do have this guy who I drew on my stomach a few days ago in Sharpie, and he's staying strong. My biggest pet peeve is when people say I look like Alfredo Linguini from Ratatouille because I know that I look like him, I just refuse to accept it. I have the most basic style. I'm currently wearing a woman's flannel. I have an alter ego named... <laughs> Hello, my name is Humbert Sotobacchio. I'm a retired fisherman who walks with a cane as an emotional crutch more than a physical. I live under a bridge, but if you need to send me something, send it to 44 Bleecker Street because I steal their mail anyway for fragrance samples. No, no, he is totally kidding. Please, no. please do not send anything to that address. No, no, send no. money. No, send do not. Do not send money. No, I'm serious, send food. Send no, food. don't, don't send food, don't send money. Okay, send chocolate, chocolate. Okay, you can send okay. it. And now, oh, oh, back okay. to me. Oh, bye. <sighs> All right. I cannot take a good photo to save my life. I'd never been on a date till I was 18. I don't know why I'm publicly stating that, but it's true. A few years ago, I flew to Brazil to visit my friend Bia and got to experience Brazil and experience carnival. And it was literally the most amazing thing ever. Okay, this one is kind of morbid, but when I was really young, I predicted that I would die at the age of 27, and I don't, I don't, I don't know why. I just had this like feeling where I was like, oh, that's gonna happen. And since then, I've kind of just been saying it as a joke, and I hope it doesn't happen because like life is cool or whatever. But I will say, if it does happen, then I'm a psychic, and that's pretty cool too. I am addicted to chocolate milk. I honestly didn't realize how much I would enjoy YouTube and how much I would love it and I didn't think that I would make it to a year but I'm really glad that I did and I'm really excited looking forward. I am an extremely slow eater. I still have my favorite stuffed animal, Puppy, who was in a vlog actually I think and he, yeah, he's still a good butt of mine and he chills on my bed protecting it from demons and guardians all day long. It's a very 
hearty and noble job. In retrospect, I feel like this is kind of a self-centered video because I'm just talking about myself, which I feel weird about, but oh well. <laughs> I forgot how hard it is to come up with 50 facts about me that aren't completely boring. And 50. Again, we made it. We're on to fact 50, which is that I've had an incredible year, both on and off YouTube. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who has made it amazing, because it really was an amazing year. And so, I thank you guys so very much. Head down below, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. And yeah, thank you guys for an amazing year. We made it to, like, at least... 50 subscribers. I don't know what it's at right now. I'll check and I'll put it right here. Uh, and that's awesome because my goal was five and so we beat that. Thank you guys so much. I don't know why I want my peace sign, but goodbye.